Golden Mile Live a whole bunch. It's not, you know, really a part of the set, but it, it was kind of a, a concept approach and, and yeah, like an overture approach. And we kept little blocks of music that would like go in and out of each other nicely at, at, at a show or any kind of performance and, and kind of layer it in there like that. Yeah, to me, that's sometimes what I think one of the most difficult things about putting a CD together is just figuring out an order. Well, it's it takes it's not just like oh this is in the same key and that's in the same key let's <laughs> yes. throw them together as many <laughs> many people would think right it's like oh that's in fucking D minor sweet smash together with this it'll sound great. Right. But it was we we did break it up and we spent a lot of time flip flopping even the name of the album too like yeah there was some... we were it was the same we were really trying to 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 you know do the album name or the album art or the order of the songs the equal amount of love and attention or hate in that manner the right. like that we put into everything else so it but it you know it worked out we had a bunch of good minds there for for again criticism and grady kind of couple times pulled me aside and right. was like no you can't do this like you cannot <laughs> do that for fuck's sakes pat shut up I'm rushing you're rushing, so it, was, <laughs> it, it worked out well. We had good people on it, and and I think the order is, it it's a, even in lives, you know, you you got a forty five minute set, like, and yep. you, and you want to make everything flow nicely, and you want to control the crowd in a sense, right? You want to bring them up or yeah. take them down, chill them Absolutely. out, give them a breath, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right, whatever's it all done. benefits so, us too. So we, I think we, I think we found the right the right mixture of, of as far as like order or album versus live show kind of set list. Cool. Great answer. Thanks. Well, okay. Well, right on. So we're going to get to one more song and that is going to be, we're going to do a uh, black walnut tree. Dig this.
That was Gypsy Ghost with Black Walnut Tree off of Mad Men Only, their brand new album, which is out now. Now, that song in particular was uh, uh, very dark, but uh, Pat, I have to say, I love the, the heart in this one. The guitar work in this one was phenomenal. I like, really like, love the soloing, and there's just a... I just, it's one of those ones that really, it's got a good hook and really sticks in my head too. And I've been humming it all day. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about that song. So what's the, what was the thought process behind this one? Well, that was, uh, I remember when Andy was writing that too. And, uh, last summer, I believe he was in the backyard, kind of in a, in a shitty state of mind, a very bitter state of mind. And, uh, kind of came up with a beautiful, I was teaching him diminished chords at the time. I was kind of like, "Hey, man, these are these are pretty nasty sounding things. Like, check these out." <laughs> and he just kind of was like in the backyard uh, wearing Daisy Dukes and nothing else really. Oh, and, uh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he, he came up. That was a beautiful piece. It was like it was really nice. And as for the guitar solo, I didn't really have. I had things written for it. Like I had a bunch of approaches for it. But I wasn't getting the right like uh, tonality or aggression or emotion out of it, and and that really came down to the day of recording was a really frustrating day, and there was a lot of lot of bullshit going on, and and Grady kind of put me in a spot and lit a fire under my ass, like really pushed me. But Put me in a dark room, gave me everything I needed at the time, and then fucking didn't let anybody even come in the room. Like, it was just like, okay, you can be alone now. And <laughs> just, <Time out. laughs> just get angry, get angry, and get this done, kind of thing. And he kind of, he kind of did, did the work for me, so to speak. Like, put me in the right mindset, which is what all I needed, really. And yeah, he, he still talks about that to me. He's like, do you remember? Do you remember uh, what I'd do for you to get that shit done? Do you remember? <laughs> you know, like, fuck. You, you prick. <laughs> but he got, he got it done. He, it, was, it, was, it was all him for the most part. Are you guys anything else to add? Do we, no, I'm still out of the room. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, um, just a few more things here. Um, then... Yeah, go ahead. No, no. Oh, Catherine, if you got something to say, go ahead. Well, actually, it was just you, you guys have commented so much on how dark this music is, and yeah, it is, and and just it's it's really dark in a good way. I mean, it's just such an underbelly of life and all of that, but it's so effective, and I can absolutely hear what you're talking about, diminished uh, material, and I just think it's really effective. So, good, good job. Thank you. <laughs> it's Satan's note. It's all, we can give all the praise to Satan. Flat five. <laughs> 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 just I love you man just say thank you thank you yeah. thanks man yeah, yeah. thank you so much yeah, yeah, yeah. for flat fives and chicken wings yeah. <laughs> for our interview with the Gypsy Ghost and uh, Seamus Pat thank you so much for stopping by it's been such a good time I want to do it again uh, very, time, uh, very soon yeah, thank you. Yeah, Thanks thank for having you. us again. Fun. It was great. All right, Catherine, we'll hang on the line here, and we'll be back in a few minutes here for New Saturday. So until then, Bones out. We'll be right back.